Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn thanked Taylor at the cliff home for assisting him in getting the kids out the door that morning. Taylor claimed she overheard him worrying about going to the hospital. Finn, who had spoken with Steffi, stated that the show was a success. Taylor wondered if he picked up anything else. Finn responded he hadn't, assuming Taylor meant Brooke and Ridge. He inquired as to whether Taylor had communicated with Ridge since his visit with Brooke. Taylor made a shaky motion with her head. Taylor decided to talk to Ridge when he returned because everyone was so busy in Rome. Finn assumed she hadn't spoken to Brooke since their friendship had ended. Taylor insisted that Brooke was denying her involvement and playing the victim. Finn stated that he was an excellent listener and asked Taylor if she wanted to express her emotions. Taylor voiced her regret in herself and Brooke, remarking that they had been good friends. They'd found someone who truly knew what they'd been through with Ridge and each other. Taylor, Finn surmised, didn't like the fact that Brooke and Ridge were in Rome. Taylor didn't, but she promised herself she wouldn't fall down the rabbit hole of insecurity. Taylor claimed she was unconcerned about Ridge. She expected them to discuss when he returned. She assumed he was having a good time. Finn responded that Steffi had suggested they go. Finn had wanted to go at the moment, but he had too much on his plate. Taylor was astonished that Liam hadn't left. Finn appeared to be bursting at the seams to spill the beans, and Taylor persuaded him to reveal his secret about urging Loyam to travel to Rome to surprise Hope. Finn asked Taylor if he could trust her, and she said yes. Finn stated that Loyam was finally with the lady he desired. As Ridge peered through the Aventine keyhole in the green door, a line formed behind him. Carter informed the audience that his friend was enchanted, to which Ridge answered that Carter had no idea. Ridge fixed his gaze on Brooke. Carter inquired about Ridge's whereabouts as the crowd grew tense. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, said Ridge. Carter informed Ridge that other people wanted to look and Ridge bolted. Ridge moved around, looking for a method to get to Brooke through doors and walls. Ridge sought for Brooke while an instrumental played and Brooke sulked behind a brick railing. Some of Brooke and Ridge's remarks to each other were played over the instrumental after Ridge acknowledged he no longer believed in eternal love. Brooke had stated that the everlasting city provided perpetual love, while Ridge had stated that they were working too hard to make it work. Ridge waited for an open gate and crept through it. Brooke's remarks above the music said he wouldn't be able to escape Rome's magic. Her voice asked him to declare he believed as he sprinted through the grounds. Ridge eventually caught sight of Brooke by the brick railing. Brooke, I discovered you, he cried, looking at her with fresh eyes. Brooke apologized for being lost, but Ridge said he was the one who was lost. He told her he'd seen what they'd stated he'd see through the keyhole. She inquired as to what he had witnessed. He claimed to have seen his future and Brooke. Slowing down, he explained that he'd been peering through a keyhole and had seen all of the answers. Brooke was perplexed and inquired as to what he'd witnessed. I saw splendor. I witnessed grace. I saw my own life. I saw you, he said. Brooke inquired as to what Ridge was on about. Ridge told her he didn't want to go another day without seeing Logan. You said Logan, she said, urging him to repeat himself. Will you be my Logan forever, he inquired. Brooke agreed enthusiastically, and they kissed. Steffi later discovered Carter alone while sightseeing. He told Steffi about his keyhole experience, stating it was acclaimed as life-changing and had been, especially for her father. Carter suspected something had gotten into Ridge after he'd seen through the keyhole because he'd bolted. Lyon was taken aback when he saw Hope fervently kissing Thomas near the Colosseum. Hope and Thomas drew back while Lyon watched, and Hope kissed him repeatedly. As Thomas and Hope exchanged glances, Liam marched away. Hope and Thomas later continued to tour the city. Hope took Thomas' hand in hers as their arms swung close together. Hope and Thomas toasted the line and their achievement over espresso at a cafe. To us, she added, shyly smiling. 
As Hope and Thomas were about to leave for more sightseeing, a fan approached them and asked Thomas to photograph her with Hope. Following that, Thomas stated that if he and Hope were to depart, now was the moment. Steffi discovered Liam near a stone railing. He wiped his tears away. She assumed he hadn't found Hope, but added that it was a vast city. He revealed that he had discovered his wife in Thomas' arms. Steffi grew enraged with Thomas, but Liam stated it wasn't Thomas' fault. Liam claimed that he had been focused on Thomas, but Steffi had always been correct. Liam said Hope kissed him, the one and only thing that could destroy my marriage. And she knew that, yet she still did it. And I seen it with my own eyes, Liam said. Steffi put her hand on Liam's arm and claimed he didn't deserve it. She wondered whether there was any chance he was mistaken. He claimed there hadn't been, despite the fact that he'd spotted Hope and Thomas in front of the arena. The way she leaned in, he was chosen by her. I think I just saw something I can't unsee, Liam explained. He claimed to have seen his wife with his adversary. Liam declared that he could take anything, but not that. I think my marriage is over, he exclaimed. Liam started crying. Steffi hugged him and apologized. Their brows met, and she told him he didn't deserve it. Steffi was astonished when Liam kissed her. She placed her hands into his chest and pushed him back gently. They both appeared surprised by what had occurred. Liam was uncomfortable on Bill's plane, and Bill stated they wouldn't be in Rome for long. Bill had arranged for a driver to be waiting on the tarmac to take Liam directly to the screening. Bill instructed Liam to demonstrate to Hope what a loyal husband he was, and he advised Liam not to waste time complaining about Thomas. Liam stated that he hoped to be a helpful husband in order to compensate for being a dinwit. He went on to say that he had to quit doing things that were driving Hope away. Bill said that there was no doubt about Hope's feelings for Liam. Later, while the plane was parked on the tarmac, Liam noticed he had phone service. Bill warned Liam not to phone Hope and ruin the surprise. Liam replied that they'd had a tough goodbye, but that the next time he and Hope saw each other, it would be a moment they'd never forget. Thomas and Hope posed for photos before taking questions from the press at the press conference in Rome. In response to a quarry, Thomas stated that teamwork was essential, and he was grateful that Hope had shared her vision with him. Throughout the room, there was a collective awe. The reporters then questioned Brooke and Ridge, who were thrilled to see the pair together despite the fact that they hadn't reconnected. Ridge stated that they were there to support their children, and one reporter wondered if this was a foreshadowing of things to come. Ridge directed the audience's attention to Steffi and Carter, begging for assistance, Ridge went on to say that while he had lost a stride, some passion, and some drive, the company was in good hands with Carter, Steffi, and Thomas, who was creating. Ridge told Brooke after the press conference that Rome made her more radiant. She said that he was sentimental because of the place, but she didn't appreciate hearing about his lack of enthusiasm and desire. He mumbled that he was just tired and said not to worry about it. Marriages and divorces— I'm not sure, he admitted. He admitted that he was aware that they needed to quit hurting each other. Brooke reminded him to believe and stated that they couldn't let the fire die out. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.